Hey everybody, Joe Haygood here, aka MC Lazy J. We are going to play Monster Hunter World for the first time. I have never played a Monster Hunter game in my life, nor have I ever necessarily had the inclination to. But it seems that there's been a lot of really good buzz on this thing, so I figured I'd at least give it a shot. So. Let's get started, but before we do that, I do want to go over real quick, and I would like to uh, say, let me get to my, sorry, I'm in the wrong place. I did want to say to Timo Fair, Timo Affair, Afar, Timo Afar, and Grigor986, I am Rising TV. I want to thank all of you for following. I know that. Uh, Timo Afar and Grigor ninety six joined this afternoon while I was playing my uh, my Undertale stream for the first time. So it's oh sorry I'm away from the mic and I got an itchy leg. Uh, it's been a while since uh, or I was kind of neat to have a couple of people join while I was uh, actually live on a stream. So uh, I am gonna turn off the mic just for a second. I'm gonna go turn on one other light. So I have a little. All right, sorry about that. Had to take care of some business, but I think we're good to go. So, I have no idea how this game plays. I know that uh, my friend Gaon is online right now, Gaon Yetsuo. I should join in his game, but they've been playing that game for probably about 100 hours at this point, so... I might be a little behind. But we'll see how it goes. Monster Hunter World. Now we're playing this on PS4. And I have stated this once already. Uh, I will state it again for anyone that would like. Um... If you would like to join, uh, if you're watching the stream and you want to jump in, my username is MCLazyJ. Let's let the wonderful car come past. That's primetime Riverside right there. Um, if you uh, would like to join in, uh, I'm playing on PSN, and my user account is MCLazyJ. Hold on.
Hey, take a prime. Sorry, I had to set up wireless. My son has a friend staying overnight, so I had to get some uh, get his friend set up on our wireless. So sorry about that. This has started off rather poorly, but uh, we'll make it all uh, work here. I want to say thanks to Tiger Prime for auto hosting us for four of his viewers. Hopefully, you're all sticking around and watching. Maybe you'll jump into the channel as I crack open my soda. So, like I said, first time I've played a Monster Hunter game. Never played one before in my life. Uh, so, popping that Monster Hunter cherry, as they would say. So, hopefully this goes well. I know nothing about the systems. I know nothing about how it works. I know nothing about nothing when it comes to Monster Hunter. I'm just hoping I can make this work. So, with that in mind, I'm going to jump over here, and I do want to, uh, I'm going to put up a new poll real quick while we're sitting here. Okay, I have added my poll, I have done all my stuff, let's make magic, shall we? So I'm going to start the game, I downloaded all the free packs that were in the store, in the PlayStation Store. Yes, I should get my shitty PlayStation mic just in case anybody does try to decide to join this game. Yep, you heard me right. Shitty PlayStation mic. It's what's getting used. Sisters and brothers of the Fifth Fleet, it's time. I'll keep my farewell brief. Never was much with words. Once you board this ship, there's no turning back. Now I'm gonna find the next you. ground your feet will touch will be that of the new world. If any of you have lost your nerve, then step away now and let no one judge you. Very well. Then sail safe and strong. Sail safe and, and may strong. the sapphire star. Light your way. No, that game does not like the my uh, background stuff. Didn't like that at all. But. Beer gun. Oh yeah, this is the game with the crazy cats. Yo, did you hear? We're almost no. there. Ready to grab this new world by the horns? That's right. Supposedly, I have heard that. This Don't is a know new about place. You, it feels like ages since I left home to join the commission. So, nervous? 
Believe you me, I get it. Anything could happen to us, but hey, that's yep. happened. Uh. Hey, aren't you one of the A-list hunters? What? No way! So are we! Hey, tell us your name. Tell us your name. Like that background. Let's start with that. Hairstyle has to change first. So let's see. I think a ponytail would make sense. Uh, I definitely don't like that. But I do kind of like that. Okay, so definitely not that. I kind of like that. Or... I'm gonna go with that. I do want to change the color though. Trying to get enough of a somewhat pink. Did I change my hairstyle? I did. Okay, now we can... I'm fine with the face. Okay with the eyebrows. Oh, I want to change the color though. I do want to change the color of the eyebrows. Okay, eyes, I'm fine with those.
Okay, that's good. For the eyes. I'm fine with the nose. No facial hair. Okay. Yeah, this is my problem. I kind of get hung up. I used to make fun of people that would get hung up on character creation. Uh, and then I ran into Mass Effect and Dragon's Age. And then I got crazy about uh, character creation. I mean, really crazy. Oh, excuse me. Expression. Okay, that'll work. I'll go with three. Clothing. Okay, we'll start off with a green. Okay. 
Okay. Well, we'll go with leather armor. That makes more sense. Create my palico. Okay, pattern. Don't change those. Okay, I did. I have to enter my Palico's name. Yes, I do want to start the game with these characters. So, how about a toast? Sure. <laughs> to the A-list and the commission! <laughs> so, tell me, what's your theory? The Elder Dragons must migrate to the New World for some reason. After running the Research Commission for 40-odd years, the Guild's itching for an answer. They say the Fifth Fleet's got the best shot at crack in this case, and I agree! Keep it down. Hey, speaking of, A-listers usually operate in teams of two. Have you sat down with your partner yet? Uh-oh. Are we even gonna talk? Is this one of those characters that never speaks? Listen to that. <sighs> Getting rough out there. The waves are picking up. That's gotta mean landfall. You're on the A-list, right? Huh. meow do <laughs> I'm not psychic, but I do have pretty good ears. Ah, put her there. I happen to be an A-lister myself. Oh, whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, 
what's happening here? Oh, that's a really big monster. Maybe? Yeah? Oh, yeah. Too big. Or is that an island? That can't be good. In any sort of context, that can't be good. Hey, what's up, Gaon? Yep, I just literally uh, started this out. I just literally made my character. So, let's see how poorly I can make this happen. Oh, okay, so we can just climb walls. Oh, hey, it's you! Yeah, it's me. Look what happened to the ship! The ship's stuck. Uh, we have to do something! Like, what are we gonna do? It's not safe here. This way! Well, that thing's coming down. So what's happening, Dan? How's your evening going? So yes, you can see now, and I have proof witness that I actually own this game. I don't know how this is going to go for me, but... Yeah, I'm trying to. Got this, come on. Yeah, I know, I'm, I'm trying. Hurry! Okay, let's go up. Tells me it's not brown. Why do I think we're on something and not some one? Get a good running start, then jump. Wait. 
way to catch. Yeah, that looks more like a monster, doesn't it? Well, that's right, no falling damage in Monster Hunter World. You can fall forever. We have found how to defy gravity. tent it has a map in it well part of one at least and there's the start of our map collection looks like we're right around here the research commission's base of operations is here this is where our ship was supposed to dock for now I think it would be best if we make our way to base the map should help us find our way I already want to see her get eaten. Look, the research commission's headquarters. Come on, let's get going. the map to get to HQ we need to hmm these Abdenoths seem every bit as docile as the ones back home Abdenoths okay it looks like we need to go around well, where the hell did you go, lady? Hmm. Something's up. The scout flies are gathering. Okay, too. chop chop, Come cut, on. cut. I think I found the way back to base. I had the scout flies memorize my scent earlier. If you lose sight of me, just follow the scout flies, and they'll lead you right to me. We can push our way through these vines. Push through the vines. Oh, 
Huh. Okay. Quietly. Got it. Okay, so I see how that works. Okay, the coast is clear. Let's get going while we still can. Hmm. Nothing can stop us. <laughs> okay, that's a weird climbing animation. Wait, there's something here. What is this track? Old footprints. There's more over there. Let's check it out. Uh oh. Someone's being spied on. <laughs> Gonna deal. Don't mind me. This way, hurry. Okay, let's go. Move. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. That is not good. What are you waiting for? Get over here. Whoa. Come on. Crazy. That is a really good fight. Jump. Hey. You all right? Let's go. Okay. Well, so far, so good. Well, you missed me Amazing, spending like 35 it? minutes in the Just character creator game. first. It's like nature meant for us to build a stara right here. A stara. I like it. <laughs> the rest of the fifth are already here. We just built an entire Here's city while you were arrive. walking across the ocean. Okay, 
Okay, set him down here. Take a nice I'll need to tape up your shoulder. Hold still for a bit. Hey, you guys made it. Be right back. You're alive. Had a rough, huh? Hey. When we couldn't find you two, we were starting to sweat bullets. You scared us. We were talking about going out to look for you. <laughs> All's well that ends well. Hey, we need a hand. Sorry. Come on. Catch you later. <laughs> This here's our trade yard. I guess the name says it all. Huh. Look at all the people. The stuff. Incredible, right? <laughs> We've got it all here. We've got hunters to do all the exploring, scholars to do the research, technicians to keep them going. This place is the beating heart of the commission. Wait here a sec. Commander, I found him. Why is it that? The protagonist in a game like this has to have a sword that's like a million feet a long and a million feet wide. And you've been as long in command as I have. When you've been in command as long as I have, you start to learn who's capable and who isn't. Now, as much as I'd like to get you up to speed, I've been pulled in about eight directions at once. We'll cover the important matters of council, which I'll be convening once things settle down. Commander, I expect you two to be there, of course. Your reputations precede you. The guild spoke highly of you as individuals. Think of what you can do as a team. And before I forget, your furry friend was looking for you. Poor thing washed up not too long ago. Go ahead and have a look around, Astera. A horn will sound when it's time for council. Well, off, you, off go. you go. Okay, I'll give you the grand tour. Let's start by looking for your palico. This is our stockpile. They carry most of the basic necessities. You should drop by later to see what they have. Yes, yes, you should drop by. Next is the smithy. It's this way. Over here. the commission's fifth fleet right the old man in charge my grandfather was with the first that was a long time ago me I'm not with any fleet born and bred right here never even been to the old world Our smithy. This is where you can craft weapons and armor. You'll be here a lot. Wow. You'll be here a lot. Look at this place. Want to check it out? Ooh, it's toasty in here. Want to get going? The canteen? I am so there. Hmm. Ah. Over here. Well, this here is our canteen. Looks like our cat. Hey, you! <laughs> I knew you'd pull through. It's 
time for council meeting. Right. We're calling for a council. Come on. Yeah. Now that you are all here, let us begin council. This is not a good sign that this game is starting to make me want to nod off. Let us begin council. After tracking a migrating elder After tracking dragon across a, the sea. A migrating elder dragon across the sea. The fifth, the fifth leader finally, finally arrived in Astera, Astera to give them a warm give them welcome. A warm welcome. They're a fine group. They're a fine Worthy group. Comrades who will help see the research commission's long efforts. Ah, you don't need me to read them. He's reading it. Would you like to say a few words? Thank you, sir. We're ready to roll up our sleeves and get our hands dirty. This here is the commission's core team. You should all get to know each other. Looking forward to it. Now, down to business. Okay. The latest monster to make the Elder Crossing is known as Zora Magdaros. A huge monster with a mountain of fire upon its back. The Research Commission's job is to discover exactly why the Elder Dragons are migrating to the New World. Because they tired of your old broke-ass world. Elder dragons have been with us since the dawn of time. Hold on a second. Sorry if I'm snacking while I'm on the stream tonight, but man. I am uh, feeling a little uh, Sorry.
He'll come to us later. I'm almost positive of it. Altering the ecosystem, reshaping the land, leaving disaster in their wake. Once every decade or so, they flock to this continent. I'm just trying to eat but some for snacks. What reason? With the fifth's help, we that will, will hopefully find wake the me up. Link. Here, here. Now we're talking. Hunters, for the time being, I need you to focus on investigating our Jagras problem and securing Astera. Jagras problem. Start by investigating the Jagras' habitat. Find out what makes them tick, and then we'll go from there. Right. We're on it, sir. Everyone else, you know the drill. Make sure these hunters have everything they need. Now we're talking. All right. You two, make it a priority to learn how we do things around here. You'll find good teachers, so don't be afraid to ask. You heard him. Stick with me and you'll have no problems. The fifth banner promises a change in the wind. It's your job to fulfill that promise. Uh oh. All right. Dismissed. Mm hmm. Huh. Not even here a whole day, and you already got your first mission. You really are ready to get your hands dirty. Well, let's go look in this Jagras problem. You'll need a weapon first. Over here. Head inside your room so you can grab yourself a weapon. This doesn't look just like our some room. basic gear for you in that equipment box. Make sure to choose a weapon that suits you. The 14 hunter weapons couldn't just be one or two. Got to be 14. Hey, by heart, what's happening? I came into your stream earlier, but you were away from keyboard, and I had to get ready to go home from work, so. That's how we were both streaming the same thing. Wow. Big ass sword, sword and shield, automatic crossbow. Armor sets are comprised of five pieces. Each piece offers some amount of defense plus equipment. Hey, there you go. I don't know if you tried it that I've been toying around with this Streamlabs OBS. 
You know, Streamlabs has their own version. And it comes with like templates and all this stuff in there as well, and plus all their tools. It's kind of nice. I like it. Oh, so you can... Is it me or does that look like a really big katana? Oh. Hold on a second. Bioheart, I'm going to do you a favor, I think. Bear with me for a second. Hold on, I need to get my other glasses. I'm going to do you a solid. Uh. Hold on, I got to change my different glasses for this. I have distance glasses and reading glasses, but uh, let me see. Let's see. Okay. I don't know. You have to be able to know that you're going to be able to do it. <clears throat> I'm 
Sorry guys, I'm just doing a solid for my man uh from my man Bioheart. There you go, my man. Take a look at your whispers. Oh, I need to take those ones off. Reading glasses only work so far. There we go. Let me know if that helps you. And we all got to help each other out, right? And I already have a year's license for it. What's and I got that one for free. It came with my camera, I'll be so... There waiting with a quest. You can get more familiar with your weapons at the training area. Just talk to the housekeeper to get started. Okay, who's the housekeeper? Oh, that's the housekeeper. Yeah, it's fine. There you go. All right. In the beginning, the whole reason why I used X split so often, um, <laughs> well, I've never played any Monster Hunter game, so what does that tell you? Okay, next. Okay, let's run through the hunting basics. First, ready your weapon. Okay, I've drawn my weapon. The long sword is a close range weapon designed for cutting attacks. Gather your spirit to increase its power. Use that as slinger ammo. Great for getting a monster's attention or creating a distraction. If you're clever, you can use the slinger to distract monsters. Gotcha.
Okay, so what am I supposed to be doing? Ay, ay, ay. Okay. Yes, I want to head back to my room. something fixed real quick. I had a cashew stuck between one of my teeth. Oh, it was killing me. Okay, talk to the handler in the cantina. So I'm assuming that's out here. Now that you have access to the armory and provision stockpile, grab what you need. <clears throat> Once you're done, go meet up with your handler in the cantina. something here. Alright, so... Handlers sort through the research commission's leads. And the ones they deem worth our attention become quests. Hey! Over here! Are we supposed to still be following him? Hmm. If you use the lift... Okay, I don't know if that's good or bad.
Uh, yeah, I don't know. Let's see if I can help you out with that. Uh, if you go to xsplit.com slash download. At least let's see what it says on my sheet here. Now I can't find. I literally just had it in front of me. Like, gosh, I don't know where I just put that code sheet. Oh, there it is. Yeah, you basically go there and then you'll click on the broadcaster one, not on the Game Center one. I think when you go and either set up your account... I'm trying to help you out here. Uh, okay, so this is where that is, which we don't have any use for right now. Maybe we do. My, my, my. I look a lot more huntery with a weapon on my back. This is the armory. We deal in ready-made weapons and armor. If you need a weapon ASAP and don't have time to gather material, we're your ticket. All right. Well, that sounds fair. Oh, nope, go away. I don't think I want anything right now because I already have one, right? I already have all this stuff, so this does me no good. Why is she screaming at me? Alright, alright, I'm getting there, I'm getting there. Easy going fiver. When we ran aground, my first thought was, what did we hit? Then I was falling into the sea. I'm trying to find somebody that follows me.
There we go. Hey! Where the hell is this lady? She's like barking at me. Provision stockpile. Okay, so that's what I was looking for. Hey, Sabbath. Thanks for joining in. What's happening? Okay. So now you have my full... Oh, okay, so basically if you get to the payment page, you should have a discount code you can enter. I think the discount code will give you the license. So there's your answer. Okay, there you go. We're all good now, right? Right. Okay, so now I can actually pay attention. But as much as I'd love to take all your zany, it's still a good idea to gather as much as you can while out, out in the field. So, two pouch. So we can buy potions, antidotes. Why would we buy a barrel? Oh. Okay. Well, that makes sense. I got you now. Hey! Well, I guess I should buy... Oh, I have some of those already. Okay, well then let's just leave it as it is for now. And, yeah, there you go. All right, well, let's uh, see what we can do. And listen up. We can make barrel bombs. All right, now let's get down to business because now I'm starting to wake up. I was getting, you know, I had to fight through that kind of crash, get some sugar in me. Now I'm getting a little awake here. Now I'm starting to feel it. Hey! <sighs> now that's hunting. But knowing nature, that's something we can do. We're going to face some real challenges. The best course might not always be clear. But what before you take life or move to defend it, understand it. That's what makes you a hunter. Hells yeah. All right. So I got to find the cantina. Okay. I think the cantina is probably that orange or red flowery thing. Which is up here, I think. So, if I go up here. And I follow it around. Oh yeah, we got a busy night tonight. Airship engineer. Boy, this thing is real annoying. Hey! Hey! Asshole! Get over here! I want to go do stuff! Hey! Right on time. Okay, partner. Time to get down to business. 
Hey! The guild teamed us up for a reason. Hey! From now on, you're my hunter, and I'm your handler. Hey! That's how annoying she was. The fifth fleet's oh, yeah. mission is to survey the Jagras habitat. Then we gotta call a certain number of them in order to secure an area. We can depart as soon as you sign up for the Jagras of the Ancient Forest Quest. You ready? What are we a wild for? and wondrous the new, new world, world is out there. Hey! Listen, motherfucker. I got a quest for you. Uh, Post a new quest. Quests involve objects. Okay, so we have assignments. Complete these missions to advance the story. Optional quests. These include favors for NPC. More will become available as you meet the necessary requirements. You can take on optional quests as many times as you like. Investigations. These special quests are issued by a resource center and can only be taken a limited number of times. And then we have events. Special quests exclusive to online play. Alright. I get it. Select the category. Assigned, optional, investigative. Well, I guess we can only do assigned right now. Jagras of the Ancient Forest. A level 1 quest. I am going to accept this quest. Quest has been accepted. You're free to explore Astera until preparations for the quest are complete. Grab a meal at the canteen. Shore up your supplies at the provision stockpile. Gra gra get the latest gear from the smithy in the armory. Then adjust your equipment and organize your items at the item box. You'll be heading out to the field in no time. Take a look at the upper left hand corner of the screen. When the quest is ready to begin, you'll see a notification there. Once prepared, press at any time to enter standby. You can go on standby by pressing X at one of Astera's gates. From the party member status menu, selecting standby for departure will have your party depart on the quest as soon as all preparations are accounted for. If you are lead, the leader of the party, pressing triangle will let you depart first with other, well, with other members who are on standby. Okay. This is really dense. Hey! Hey, motherfucker, hey! Oh, man. Okay. Oh, and there's time limits on All these right. quests, this huh? This is our first job. Let's do a quick review of quest rules. No pressure. Sure. No pressure. Rule number one. Complete to the objective to uh, complete the quest. Thanks. Easy, complete right? the objective to complete the quest. I never would have figured that out. Each quest has an objective. You can't consider the quest done until you complete that objective. Okay. Our current objective is to eliminate a specified number By of By the targets. way, everybody, how's the stream? Let's like I said, I, I'm trying this new software. I know it looked like about an hour ago I had some dropped frames, but that was about the only time. Um, I'm just curious if I sound good, if the picture looks good, if the layout looks good. Um, okay, so our current objective is to eliminate a specified number of Jagras. I think that's how you pronounce that. Jagras. Let's check the map. Okay, so we're going to look at our map. We ran into some Jagras on the way to the base. We ran into some Jagras the on the way monsters. to the base. The remember? small monsters, remember? Okay. I think we saw them, think we saw them around somewhere here. around here. Want to check, check it, it out? out? Okay. Rule number two. Use the supply box. Use the supply box. The commission supplies us with a loadout of certain items for each quest. Well, yeah, and I can get rid of that stuff. I'm just using... I'm trying a few different templates just to kind of see if I get a feel for one or the other that I like. Hey, Gregor. 986. Hey, Dodgy Dealer, 
Good to see you, man. I haven't seen you online in a couple of days. I'm sorry I've been, and I've been out of the office a few days, so I haven't been able to check my daytime streams. You know how I am. I try to jump in with everybody. Uh, yeah, I'm using that new, uh, I've, I've been using XSplit, and I'm using this new Streamlabs OBS, you know, so it kind of has all the Streamlabs stuff built into it. They're in the supply box over Which there. is kind of neat because uh, it allows you to see your chats. It has all their tools. It has all the stuff for like song requests, all that stuff all built into it. So you can kind of manage everything from inside one client, which is really cool. I really like that. Um, Ready to go. So. Oh, yeah. Okay, hey, can I take everything? <clears throat> I guess not. Because I can't take that. Oh, so I have a, a container weight. Okay. Um, yeah, and I like the templates and all that stuff. The only thing I haven't figured out and it kind of bugs me. It's the only thing I haven't been able to figure out yet. Is uh, want to get going? Is uh, mm -hmm. like at work, I use a different camera and I use a different microphone than I do when I'm at home because I do careful. lunchtime streams. And. Uh, in those lunchtime streams, I have to use my built-in camera because I don't carry all my ca capture equipment with me to work, obviously, because that would that would be weird. Ready your weapon before attacking. Keep in mind that what you're able to do depends on whether or not your weapon is drawn. When you're investigating or gathering items, you'll generally want to keep your weapon sheathed. Okay. I'll mark gathering sites and monster positions on the wildlife map for you. You can gather honey and mix it with a potion to make mega potions. Make mega potions. Mega potions. Over here. Well, I wanted to. There was stuff over there. Needle berry. A pack of jagras. Those are the monsters we're after. Let's see how you hold up when you're on your own. Think are dead? They're on the run. Don't let them get away. Grab all the monster materials you can. You can use them at the smithy. Uh oh yeah. So anyways, sorry about that. Got into combat. I got distracted. My bad. Uh so I use a different camera. On my lunch streams, I use my built-in camera. I use my built-in microphone. When I'm at home, I have my snowball mic, I have my nice Logitech camera. And I'm using my capture box normally. And at work, I'm normally just capturing the game footage, you know, and I have the one on one monitor and the one on the other. So, anyways, when I went to try to use Stream OBS yesterday, I couldn't. Uh, it uh, didn't want to work. Um, it kept crashing. Actually, it was today. Every time I tried to use it, it would just crash. So, and it's a beta, so I know there's some issues here and there that have to be worked out. Uh, you know, I'm not too worried about that. Um, you know, I'm sure they'll get worked out. It's just right now, it was kind of annoying, because it's like, okay, I'm going to go and... Uh, I'm going to go and... Uh, I wanted to... It, it just meant I had to use my... X split um, software to stream while I was at work. 
So I got to figure that out, and if there's, and I got to look into and maybe ask him the questions on the Stream Labs OBS uh, Discord, and see if maybe they have some some tips and so forth on how to manage. And uh, you know, I just want to see if they have some tips on what I do for. Whoops. Uh oh. Why do some of them have glowy faces? Okay. Oh shit, I just got work. Don't try to engage a monster when your health is low. Smarter to focus on you. Oh shit. Dodge their attacks. You don't want to take hits like that head on. Now's your chance. The weapon is losing its sharpness. Great to miss. There's a weapon. Look at your guts, okay? Oh, shit. Okay. Let's head home and report back to the old man. Well, yeah, I understand, but shouldn't I try to be killing these things? So I'm figuring at some point I will uh, have to Okay, let's collect some So that's the thing. So at some point, I'm going to have to figure out what that's happening. And I can probably find out. And I know you can have more than one. Um... Are we getting tired? I know you can have more than one layout. Because I know if you import your settings from regular OBS. What are these? Let's see. Do we sell these or do we keep them? Let's see. Meshalite or... Hey, our Palico leveled up. Okay, that's pretty good. Don't sell anything until later in the game. There you go. Yeah, I know you can. I just got to figure out how to do it. I know you can have multiple layouts. I just got to figure out how to make it work. But we'll get there. So, if anything, it was just, it's going to be a little odd when people watch and it's like, hey, you've got one layout for one thing, and then you got this completely different layout for the other thing. And it's like, yeah, I know, it'll get there. We'll make it all work. I promise. So, I want to have one consistent kind of theme. And I may still switch this up. I'm feeling out a couple of the different themes. And I just want to see how they look and work. So, yeah, see, I don't want that. I kind of want a consistent layout. I don't want to be changing my layout with every game that I play. That just seems a little, I don't know. It just seems a little weird. To see you. Oh, wait a minute. I wanted to go back and collect all... I killed all those things. There was all that material I left behind. And why does my character just look like she's just bug out, drugged up? I mean, look at them eyes. Yeah, see, like... And like I said, I'm not necessarily against it. But, like, if I try to open this right now when I'm at work, 
and I don't have my camera and my microphone connected, it just crashes. I can't even open it. So I got to figure out how I get it to let me select which one I'm opening. Like on, on load, how come I can't pick a loadout? And I'm pretty sure, like I said, I'm sure I can. I just have to figure out how. And I just need to sit down with it and learn it. Okay, field team leader may be stating the obvious, but Jaggers aren't the only danger lurking around these parts. We've also received reports of a Kestodon herd getting out of hand. This must be all because Zora Mag Magdaros made landfall. It's got everything riled up. Listen up. Well, it's going to be your job to quiet them down. We'd like you to investigate this Kestodon herd and cull their numbers. That means exterminate. Time for some Kestodon. Uh... That's fine. We can have that on. All right. Now that you've got some materials, why don't we head over to the smithy to see what 5 you million celebration that. item pack available until 215 2018. Horizon Zero Dawn collaboration content now available. Quest Lessons of the Wild available until 208 2018. Quest Challenge 1 Quest Beginner available until 215 2018. Check the official info website. So I got a Screamer Pod and a Lucky Voucher. I got a Mega Potion, Life Powder, Demon Powder, Hard Shell Power, Steel Egg. Okay, so now I have people joining. Do, do, do. Now, if I understand correctly, eh, that's all right, uh, Dodgy Dealer. I get it. I just appreciate you stopping in for a few minutes. That's awesome. I really appreciate that. And taking your time out of your evening to come in and check in and bear with me as I take an hour to tell a five minute story because I get distracted while I'm playing a game. Take it easy, man. Have a good evening. Like I said, thanks for stopping by, man. It's cool. Okay. Airship engineer. So the fifth has arrived. Greetings. Greetings there. I'm the airship engineer with the second fleet. I work on flying machines, airships, what have you. I'm sure you're curious. <laughs> it's 8 a.m. for you? Oh, okay. So... Oh, man. Are you uh, in England by any chance, Dodgy Dealer? Just out of curiosity. Okay. I used to live in uh, Suffolk County. My dad was stationed at uh, Lake and Heath Air Force Base. Lived there for just shy of four years. I used to go to Great Ormond Street in London. That was the hospital I was seen in as a kid. I was a real sick kid, so... The military hospital didn't know what to do with me, so they sent me to Great Ormond Street. So I spent a lot of time in London. One of my favorite moments is that I got to watch the English national team play not once but twice in Wembley Stadium. And I actually shook hands with... Um, James Calhoun, the Prime Minister in 1978 when he was running against Thatcher. And that's about all the famous things I can say about when I was in England. <laughs> but meeting a head of state, that's cool. Uh, ah, don't worry about it, Biohazard. I've done that many times. How old am I? I am 46 years old. Uh, so yeah, I'm an old guy. So <laughs> I apologize for that. I am an older dude. But I'm still young at heart, man. 
Uh, yeah, we were there from September 77 to, gosh, May or June of 1981. It's where I learned a love of ska listening to madness. <laughs> Uh, I got to learn how, <laughs> and, uh, it's also where I got to learn that, uh, what page three girls were as a kid, which now they've done away with, but man, when you're a six year old and that's an impressionable thing when it's like, Oh, so yeah, but yeah, I, uh, uh, yeah, like I said, I was there for about four years. I loved it. I always wanted to go back. It's just a tad bit expensive. But someday. <laughs> yeah, as, a, as an impressionable six-year-old American, it was a shock to see, like, nudity on TV there. <laughs> It was like, oh my goodness. But uh, man, yeah, I loved it. And those people at Great Ormond Street, they were it's some of the best health care I ever got and some of the best people I ever dealt with. And I will never be able to thank them enough for how much they helped me as a kid. So I, I always hope someday I get to go back and just tell them thank you. There you are, Kramer. All right, so we have materials. Maybe we can craft some stuff. Whenever you go out in the field, gather materials. I turn those materials into weapon and armor. Drop by whenever you find something new and interesting. Here, I'll give you some materials as a welcome present. You can use them. Okay. Uh... Well, can I upgrade my sword? First, select a weapon you want to upgrade to. You can use materials to upgrade to different weapons with a variety of improved stats. If you want more base weapons to enhance, you can create more by selecting forge equipment at the smith yard by purchasing them at the armor. Upgraded weapons can also be downgraded. The materials you use to upgrade that weapon. Now that is a nice thing. Hey. Go ahead, get the kids fed. Have a good morning. By the way, Manchester City for the win today. Whoop, 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 whoop. They're going to be Burnley. Select the weapon with the cursor. And thanks for dropping in, uh, Dodgy Dealer. I'll catch your stream here in a little bit. Uh, select the weapon with the cursor and press the triangle to add it to your wish list. Once you acquire all the necessary materials, to create a wish listed item, you'll receive a message. Okay, that's kind of, now that's kind of neat. I like that. Okay, so... Iron Katana 2. Okay. Boy. Ha! Ha 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 ha! I'm sorry, man. Hey. If it makes you feel any better, I used to be a huge Glenn Hoddle fan back in the late 70s, early 80s. Unfortunately, he couldn't do squat when it came to coaching the English national team, and I'm still pissed at him for that. But then again, my favorite, Kevin Keegan, couldn't do much for the English national team either. But he did a hell of a lot with Newcastle United. Hey, man. I think you'll have I think they're gonna have a good game right now though yeah well hey I've suffered because I was with Manchester City back when they were in third division so I don't feel so bad okay so theoretically I don't have the materials for that and I don't have the materials for that okay that's all right so No, I'm not going to roll back the upgrade. Now, let's see. Do I have any... 
Each piece of armor has a level. You can use armor spheres to gain points, which are used to raise your armor's level. The equipment's appearance won't change, but its defenses will increase. There's a limit to the number of times a piece of armor can be upgraded. The number of points gained depends on the type of armor sphere used. I will try to do that as well. Okay. Okay. All right, so I have upgraded my equipment. I spoke to the smithy, now I need to speak to the handler. Hey, Rainbow, what's happening? We got a busy crowd tonight. Don't make Rainbow mad. She's a moderator in here, so. Well, hopefully your migraine has felt better. It sounds like it's a, it sounds like it's a little better. Not great. But I guess something is better than nothing. Okay, so where am I going? Oh, hello. hello, Fiverr. Okay, at the Gathering Hub, you can meet with other hunters and embark on quests together. Finding Celestia. Just look it up. See that ship atop us there? It looks like it's about to sail off the stars. That's it. You can get up there by taking the lift. Just come <laughs> visit us as soon as you get the chance. Okay. It's great. Yay for busy. Absolutely. It's always yay for busy. I know Gan's got me in the background while he's playing Monster Hunter on his own. I'm trying to at least get a feel for this. He wants me, to, or he offered to uh, join in, or have me join into his clan at some point uh, to to play some missions. But I gotta, <clears throat> I gotta get a feel for the game before I do that. But so far, I'm enjoying it. <clears throat> the combat's a little difficult, but are not. Uh, I should rephrase it. Combat's not difficult. Yes. It's just there's a there's a momentum to the combat. There's a a heft and a weight to the combat. So you know, I just gotta get used to it. I think once I'm there, it'll be cool. So, <clears throat> there is that. A hunter from the fifth, are you? Then you must have finished your first quest. This is ecological research, headed up by yours truly. Tell me, did you find any monster data out there? Tracks, gashes, that sort of thing? Data tells us a story about the monsters, an elaborate and interesting one at that. Your job in the field team is to track the monsters, collect data, and advance the study. Our job is to take that data, analyze it, and compile it to our findings for the commission. What we learn helps you out in the field, too. So you see, we need each other. 
Cuckoo, 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 cuckoo. I'll be here. Yeah, I watched Gan. He had a stream when this first came out. They played it for like 12 hours straight. And he was, and, and not only that, I think he ended up playing it for almost 22 hours, which is nuts. But that's what youth will get you. Okay, ecological research is a facility that studies monsters. These their studies can help you with your hunts and investigations. Gathering monster tracks mm -hmm. and the like will earn you research points. Collect enough in your research level will go up, giving you access to new features and intel that will make your hunts easier. Yeah, that's what I said. I haven't been able to do that though since I was like in my thirties. Although I did play a lot of Mass Effect. Two and Mass Effect Three when they came out. I took time off of work and actually stayed home with them. So, am I any worse? And it sucked because I had time off for Andromeda. In a way, I'm kind of glad that didn't pan out because, oh boy, that was that was not a good game. That was actually kind of a bad game. But anyways. Uh, let's see. Research levels do not increase automatically. When you see report to the ecological team on the results screen, be sure to pay them a visit. Okay. In the research menu, level menu item, you'll also find your scout flies level, which determines their abilities to higher your scout fly level. The sooner your scout flies will pick up the next set of monster tracks. Okay. Large monsters. Monster field guide. Small monsters. Okay, let's see. Low rank materials. Docile herbivores that graze in packs. Their meat is considered a delicacy and is rich in nutrients. If one member of the herd is attacked, the rest will flee immediately. Okay. Jagras. Members of the Great Jagras Pack, these smaller monsters will flee upon seeing one of their own perish. They're also known for ambushing larger monsters at a moment's notice. And then we have our large monsters, which is... Great Jagras, pack leader of the Jagras when hungry, Great Jagras are known to attack monsters even stronger than themselves. It balloons to unbelievable proportions after swallowing prey. Uh, the Anjanath patrols the ancient forest looking for its favorite meal, Aptonath. This belligerent monster will attack anything without hesitation. Zora Magdaros. Researching. No information. Okay. Hey there, partner. Hey. Oh yeah, you missed this lady. Rainbow, you missed this lady earlier. It's like I didn't know where she was and she just kept hollering for me. So it's like as I'm sitting there wandering around trying to find her, it's like all you hear in the background is hey. 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 Oh, so bad. So, so bad. Right. So the next thing we need is to take care of are those Kestodon. The chief said he'd be tagging along with us. How about we start our search in the ancient forest and go from there? Well, I've got some good news. We handlers post all the leads we find on the quest board. You can sign up for quests there too, so you don't always have to come all the way up here. 
But then again, you might miss out on all the eats up here. You can pick up quests from the quest board too. Hey, you can pick up quests from the quest it board. It the same quests that I've got. So don't worry about having to check two places. We're on the hunt. Okay, let's post this quest. Hunter eight or higher. Hunter six or higher. Hunter six or higher. Hunter eleven or higher. Oh yeah, I guess that's true. Sorry about that. Okay, so those are my events. And the sign, I have that. Optional. A thicket of thugs. Okay, so I don't want that one. Daggers of the Ancient Forest. Okay, I want to do this one. Kestodon Kerfuffle. Okay. What you know to look for, it, it's easy. What? I didn't mean to cancel it. Okay, let's try this one more time. I didn't mean to cancel that. I went through all kinds of periods of theories of what you'd be like. Oh, that's right. There we go. Woo! <clears throat> uh, yeah, I mean, okay. Our job is to call I've never had an Kestadon. issue with recently their numbers have been getting out of hand. I was able to set everything up that I needed to. My biggest issue that I had with XSplit, uh, that it doesn't do, that OBS does, is I haven't figured out how to have my game run at one resolution and then output to a different. I always had to have the same thing consistently through XSplit. And it kind of sucks because for templates and stuff, like if you build templates, you want them to be at 1920 by 1080. And then let the software downscale as you're outputting to your 720 or whatever you're doing. Because I can't output at 1080. I just don't have the resolution chops for it. So, you know, it is what it is. Now, good thing is... We're on the hunt! By their head shape. Yeah, I think it's if. Uh, 
Okay. Kestodon. Ah, there we are. Those, my friend, are Kestodon. Let's see you take him out on your own. Huh. Be careful. the hell are those things? not having a good time dodging this thing. Ouch. Hey. All right. Let's look for another group. The Castadon are the least of your worries. There are a lot bigger monsters lurking yeah, in this Yeah, I'm sure there are. Be careful. Look at all those vultures that came down. The endemic life around here can come in handy during a hunt. Try to learn as much as you can about them. Okay, well, I'm just looking to see what's here, people. Peaceful one, huh? Over here. Okay, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Oh, I make jokes. Where am I going? Oh, shit. Man, like all of a sudden I couldn't turn. Over here!
Be careful. out. Okay, I got two out of the three. Oh, that one went down too. Cool. Come on. Wraps up our work here. All right. All right. Hey, come here. I think I found something. Well, let me uh, get what I need to get here first, buddy. Yeah, I hear you. Oh, but I didn't get the here. But I didn't get to take what I needed to take from there over there. God damn it! Hmm. Look at those Kestodon. Something's up with them. <clears throat> oh shit! I think ate a whole monster. No, no. Gotcha. 
right, partner. New assignment incoming. Take down that Great Jagras. If you're not ready, you can return to base and take on the Great Jagras quest later. Want to get going? Well, first I want to go over here and get this, dude. Don't attempt to engage a monster when your weapon has lost its sharpness. Your attacks will be weak and easily deflected. If you need to call your friends for help, go to the menu and select SOS Flare to signal it. And you're going to need friends when you go up against some of the tougher monsters. In order for the scout flies to better track a target monster, we need to keep finding traces of it. Like footprints, for example. Let's see, how do I sharpen? Is that what I do? Okay, so stone sharp. Let's go get the Jagras, which I guess is up here somewhere. Oh, hold on. Good marks. Yeah. All right. Well, I assume. Good. You're turning up a lot I'm of clues. turning up a lot of clues. Okay, so keep on swimming, keep on swimming. You're less likely to lose sight of a monster if you use the focus camera. Right to him. All right, let's follow this thing. Damn it. 
I'm gonna let that mess play out. your chance to deal with serious damage. He doesn't seem that tired because he just ran his ass away. Look out! Your health is low. Keep your distance and use a potion. All right. Okay. So let's. Sharpen that old stone, that sword. Okay, let's track this stupid thing down. Alright, come on, monster. Belting me in the head. Okay, we're still tracking it down. Come on, baby. Oh, I already got that one. Okay. 
Come on, great Jagras. Come get dead. I see that thing way over there. I just don't want him to heal too much. Retreat to its nest to recuperate. Come on, let's go chase it. Get sharpened. Oh, we broke something. Got him. What, what? We gotta kill all his buddies, though. Run away. Except for that monster like crawling around behind me, it's just like, I'm gonna mess you up. And we took down the monster. Oh man. I think we got a lead. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Let's check it out. Huh. Hey. 
the heck is that? It's a chicken monster. Oh, it's a pooky pooky. Well, you were right. There's our mark. Something's got him agitated. <laughs> Look over there. What in the heck is that? I've never seen anything like it. You think it's from Zora Magdaros? I'd like to find out. But we better report back first. All right? A Kestodon kerfuffle. I'm assuming I'm gonna keep all this stuff, so... At least in the beginning, as we said. Woohoo! Our Palicus level went up. A hunter rank is up. Hey, and a trophy on top of it all. Kerfuffles. Kerfuffles. Woo woo. Kerfuffles. Woo woo. Kerfuffles. I woo see. woo. So you think you found something that'll lead us to Zora Madragos or Mag Magdaros Magnaros? Well, I'd send some researchers out, out now, but I'm, but not with a pissed off Pookie Pookie hanging around. Got to get worried about that Pookie Pookie. Pookie Pookie territory. That's pretty deep in the forest. We better be equipped to take it on. Since our team from the resource center is done rebuilding the forest camp. Once it's ready, we make our move. Till then, we do everything we can to help them get that camp up and running. Let's get to it. Pookie pookies. Once the camp is set up, you can go after that pookie pookie. Hmm. I wonder where the resource center is. Uh, let's see. Ecological research. Try hard, will you? Mm -hmm. Great Jagras. Okay. Mm. Good to see you. When investigating large monsters, you can either slay or capture them. Naturally, both have their scientific merits, but frankly, well, it would be better for our long team research to receive a live specimen that we can later return to the wild. Good luck.
All right, well, I'm gonna take a break here for a little bit. I need to stretch my legs. I've been sitting here for two and a half hours. Um, I'm not gonna guarantee I'll be back on, but uh, if I do, I will make sure to notify on Twitter and everything if I'm gonna be back. I wanna thank everybody that jumped in. We had a big room tonight, so that's I really appreciate that. That definitely helps out. But yeah, I, you know, I've been sitting for about, well, I'm looking at the clock here, almost three hours. So I need to get up and stretch my legs, go walk for a bit. If I come back on, we'll play something. It might not be Monster Hunter. I might finish the day with like everybody's golf or something simple or that, you know, isn't too taxing on the brain. Um, but uh, we'll definitely come back and play something. But I want to thank Sabas. Gan Yatsuo, Rainbow, Bioheart, uh, Dodgy Dealer, Gregor986 that came in, everybody that's been in, uh, thanks a lot, and uh, we will be back maybe later, if not, we'll be back sometime tomorrow, uh, maybe with more Monster Hunter, maybe I'll come back with that Remothered Tormented Edition, so... If you don't know what that game is about, I have an archive video either on my YouTube or on my Twitch channel. You can kind of get a feel for it. I, I right as I got into it is when I ended ended up ending my stream because I was just dog tired on Thursday. So, anyways, though, th everybody, thanks for uh, joining in and coming in the stream and helping out. And uh, we'll be back. Like I said, maybe later. More likely next or, or tomorrow night, afternoon, evening, tonight. Uh, but like I said, thanks. Bye.